know, I think that uh, Jordan's line, uh, their first shift of the game, really set the tone for how we were going to play. Uh, we talked all week about, you know, getting pucks deep and winning the battles down low and creating offense from that. And that's exactly what they did on that first shift. They uh, won battles, they kicked the puck out, and we got, a, I think, a point shot. And next thing, you know, they're just battling away, and Jordan scores a, a goal in tough areas in the blue paint. That's what we talked about. Um, you know, and then we followed that up with a, you know, probably a great power play goal, <laughs> one of the really good power play chances we had all night uh, at the end of the first period with Billy made a terrific play uh, back to. Um, Brant, and we put us up 2 nothing. Um, then I thought we were playing really well 5-on-5. Five five. Uh, and, you know, we got that one goal the, the, on the delayed penalty, and we had a chance to make it, uh, you know, 4 nothing. We probably didn't execute as well on the power play tonight as we wanted to. I think, um, you know, as a team, when we get together tomorrow, we'll have to, uh, you know, look at that. Because that's an area where we could have probably had a chance to extend the lead here tonight and when you're playing on the road against a team that good uh, they're a very good team they're very uh, dynamic offensively and dangerous uh, that certainly could be an equalizer if we're scoring power play goals but I, I was happy with uh, the overall effort from, from all four lines tonight our defenseman and Robbie of course was uh, excellent in that especially when he needed to make a key save he made him Considering where you guys and Bentley are in the standings, how important was tonight for you guys to pick up the win, not only to leapfrog them, but for giving you momentum into the game tomorrow? Yeah, you know where it was really important was because it's a three-game series, and uh, now we've evened the series, and we have a chance now to win tomorrow night, and then we own the tiebreaker because through my experiences, when you get towards the end of the year, it always comes down to a point or two. If you have that tiebreaker, uh, it can be really influential in where your seeding is at, at the end of the season. You guys as a team hadn't had a shutout since last March, which I know is before you got here, but what does it say about Robbie that he can come in as a freshman? I know it's not the first great performance he's given you guys, but to give you guys, I think it was 27 saves tonight, and get that first shutout of the season. Yeah, Robbie's been solid all year long. Um, you know, and uh, I don't know why we haven't had a shutout all year long, because, uh, you know, we're one of the best defensive teams in the uh, league. I think we are right there with the fewest goals against in the league. But uh, as long as we score one more goal on them, uh, I don't, you know, I know it's it's an important thing and it's a credit to Robbie for the shutout and the team defense, but I think he'd tell you as well that if we won 3 2, he'd be just as happy. Robbie, were you feeling good tonight coming into, uh, coming into the game? Did you feel good in pregame warm ups? Did you know after pregame warm ups, say, like, I'm in the zone tonight? Or uh, yeah. was there any point during the game where you? Kind of knew, hey, I'm pretty locked in. No, I, I think I was feeling about the same as just as any game. Uh, like Coach said, I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me. But the score is what matters most, I think, at the end of the night, just to us and not also to myself as a win. And, uh, you know, the two points, I think, is huge regardless of the score. And as a freshman, how do you feel you've improved over the year as a goaltender? Uh, I think I've worked a lot with Tyler Bilton, our goalie coach. He's definitely helped me improve. And obviously, watching Grogan, he's, uh, I think, pushed me a lot. And, I've tried to, you know, follow this game a little bit, and he's really composed, and that's something I had to work on when I first came in. From watching my first game to tonight, it's been a huge change, and a lot of that goes to I think, Tyler and Matt. Late in the game, there you had that six on four. They had pulled the goalie. They had everyone in the zone. What happened with those really quick shots and succession? They were all over the place on that. It looked like. Um, yeah, I think our guys were doing a pretty good job of keeping them on the outside. You know, we had our sticks in the pass lanes. They would really like to see see us, and I think we. Kept, their, kept it uh, pretty hard on them to be able to find those seams. We picked an awful lot of passes and towards the end of the game. And I think that one backdoor thing was basically the only really good chance I thought they had. And you know, I just tried to throw something out there and got lucky. And I think Hughes actually almost blocked that one. And Coach, on the flip side of the special teams, you were talking about the power play, but you guys kept them over five on the power play tonight. And they're second best in the country coming into tonight. How important was that? How much momentum did that give you guys throughout the game? I think it was really important. Um, and like you said, conversely, where a power play